السلام علیکم ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس مائی سیلف مسٹر محمد خالد اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور ویک ٹین لیسن نائنٹین اینڈ ٹوینٹی آر ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن ریمینس گورمنٹ اینڈ سوسائٹی ول ہیو دا فالوئنگ کانسیپٹ ریلیشنشپ of government and society, civil rule in Pakistan, military rule in Pakistan, civil dictatorship, forms of government exercise in Pakistan, local governments, religious and political parties and their influence, law and justice. Well, in the previous discussion, we remained involved in economic issues of the Pakistan and their impact on the public and the state. This discussion is very important uh, from certain aspects that since we gain some political sense, we keep hearing that in Pakistan there is not Uh, any sound welfare visionary true government following the uh, spirit of the Qadi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah fine whether Pakistan was uh, created as a secular state or was it gained or achieved after the names of Islam and Sunnah where the Muslims may Uh, live their lives accordingly fine at the on the other end there were other targets that are assumed that the civil democracy should reign public uh, or individual sanctity and integrity must be preserved and the society should be peaceful thriving harmonious just for all the fractions from the uh, majority to minority. So these are, uh, I mean, it's a galaxy of uh, different expectations and rules which we feel, okay? And since 1947 onward, the indulating history of Pakistan is completely Uh, a different story than the expectations well anyhow uh, it is the story of us it is we who have achieved the uh, liberty and later on it's we we have uh, the the state so we all are responsible including the government constitution uh, the influential people movements till a common man like we all are responsible for this condition of the country so uh, this uh, discussion will open up many different questions that uh, that what positive and what negative has been uh, done in Pakistan in terms of the government and society well the uh, students Uh, in two major uh, streams we can discuss that uh, how Pakistan was there. We have to, uh, before we enter into the major discussion, we must uh, glance at the life before, just before 1947. Okay, before 1947, the lives of the public in subcontinent, including all Hindus, Muslims, Sikh, Christians, Jews, fine, Buddhists and everyone. They were under one stronghold of the British. British had established a very harmonious and creative constitution 1935 constitution under which different provisions were included for all fractions for example Hindus were 
dealt in family laws according to the Hindu rules, whereas the Muslims were dealt in their family laws according to the uh, Muslim rules. So were the Sikhs and Parsis and others. Although there were some uh, provisions quite contradictory to the uh, for both Hindus and Muslims and all others because they were not relevant. And it is obvious because India was not a, a religious state of any type. Neither was Hindus nor Christians uh, nor the Muslims. Although the Christians were uh, underlying the ruling party. They had the upper hand in certain cases yet they were running smoothly. Fine. So this system was prevailing everywhere. Fine. Okay. The societal uh, fractions were very deep that at the top the ruling class the Britishers were the top and down the Britishers were the influential uh, political people businessmen bureaucrats those who favored India oh, sorry the Britishers they were the more favorite fine secondly we had detailed uh, expressed that uh, since uh, the East India Company had started capturing the land and most of the land uh, and they were directly uh, uh, retaken uh, taken by from the Muslims so Hindus in this game were less losers and Muslims were the main losers thereby the Muslims uh, valiantly and uh, vehemently uh, opposite uh, opposed the uh, British ex uh, expansion and the fort and British in consequent took uh, the Muslim as their number one enemy so they tried to destroy them in all respect I mean they were uh, means they were depart from their property their business was destroyed their people were the nomin notable people were either uh, banished, either they were killed, imprisoned, fine. So many uh, types of uh, sanctions were put on the Muslims. The Muslims who had uh, a tendency to stand at any stage, whereas another class of the Muslims also flourished in Punjab and uh, Bengal and. Uh, other areas of the country who favored the British and they were involved in uh, activities that were harmless, uh, harmful to the uh, Muslim whereas they were more favoring the British so British rewarded them with different kind of titles and money and all others that fraction all the uh, uh, stable uh, to some extent and same time you have found that the movement of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan he tried to, he used to be an employee of the East India Company and uh, he saved many Britishers and uh, he developed uh, he was uh, uh, successful in sustaining some better relations with the, the British government and resultantly he uh, inclined the Muslims towards the West and uh, understanding the uh, Western education and so to uh, enable them to take part in the uh, government. Anyway, uh, the life in subcontinent, especially from the Muslims and the lower caste Hindu, they are called Dalits, was miserable. Clear? Although Congress claimed to be a united party to represent and safeguard the rights of the people irrespective of their creed, color and region. But that was a complete failure because in 1937 uh, elections and the constitution and the government of the uh, Congress, it showed that Congress was utterly exploitive, uh, exploit, uh, utterly exploited the Muslims. Okay, same time in 1906, uh, the partition and annexation of Bengal, reunion of Bengal, that was another landmark question before uh, many many years ago. Fine, uh, that created a questions. Muslims uh, from 
all the fractions where the Hindus were dominated, Shuddhi and Shankton, they were the movements uh, launched by the British, uh, sorry, uh, Hindus. They want to convert India to be a fully uh, Hindu-run state. Fine. And uh, many other things you have found that the Hindu-Muslim animity or friendship was very open. The years to Tariq uh, Khilafat and later on the other uh, movements, Hindu used to be with uh, Muslims, but later on they changed their ways. And uh, this mentality uh, urged the Muslims for a separate homeland. Okay, Congress remained the greatest opposition. But anyhow, with the grace of Almighty Allah, finally in 1947, Pakistan was established and uh, carved on the on on the world map as a new uh, state. Yet after 1947, after the Pakistan was built. The situation changed differently. Clear? So, uh, after 1947, Pakistan started as uh, a newborn state under the leadership of Qaeda e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who wanted Pakistan to be a purely Islamic based on welfare concept. He wished that they should be a state like. Pakistan that may be an excellent place for all the Muslims and to solve their issues should survive fine and it equally should follow this true, true spirit of the state of Medina established by the Holy Prophet where all the minorities had the same but unfortunately Pakistan geographically was established on a different areas secondly the concept of both the borders in east pakistan and the west pakistan were different fine then uh, the government system the society was also divided into different a civil society an armed forces society a religious society and a uh, say worker society and one or society was that uh, fled from that came from India and settled in Pakistan so there are different kind of societies so you find you will find a uh, uh, extraordinary uh, contradictions and indulation and volatile situation at both in the systems of government and in the systems of societies so the ideas, concepts, norms and rituals, traditions and slogans uh, that the society uh, inherited from the forefathers that changed, that changed automatically. And now if you analyze that uh, the system and the concept inherited uh, you find it is entirely a different Pakistan. The first thing that after 1947, Pakistan was established on the uh, Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan, KPK, and federally administered areas. They were later on included in Pakistan. Fine. And then the biggest part was Bengal. Okay, these two parts were quite, uh, in in a means they were at the polars, at the poles. Pakistan, East Pakistan was at one side, whereas the West Pakistan was at one side. Anyhow, the business started. The business started. Civil government, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah as the first Governor General, started the. Uh, doing work fine uh, in his lifetime he was anxious to give the constitution and a system but unfortunately uh, he passed away in 19 
48 and the government was uh, handed over to Khan uh, Liaquat Ali Khan okay after Khan Liaquat Ali Khan demise uh, Fatma Jinnah came and then the time of Fatma Jinnah according to the constitution election to be made but but same as the era where General Ayub Khan took the lead and he imposed martial law on Pakistan. Here, Pakistan government and Pakistani society, they were both hijacked or some way they lost the way and they transformed into an other situation. Fine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, rest of the discussion we make after this.